Pune is an intellectual capital of Maharashtra. Perhaps it's considered also a very uh, important intellectual city of the country. It has produced a lot of intellectuals and social reformers. I think a large percentage of social reformers of the country came from Pune, right from Gokhale, Agarkar, Phule. Unfortunately, Pune did not have a great visual art culture. And thanks to the efforts of Dr. Kiran Shinde and Bharatiya Vidyapit, that Pune Biennale is taking birth. This will be a really a major step towards creating visual culture in Pune. And I think Pune Biennale is a kind of a great step towards st uh, taking a step towards uh, uh, visual enlightenment, uh, visual uh, liberation of Pune. Uh, we will have a lot of public installations. We'll have artists from all over the country coming, showing their works. So there will be one show I'll be curating where I have chosen about 25 to 30 young artists who basically think out of the box and whom I liked in one of the art fairs I recently attended in Delhi. And I've been working with about 10 artists from Pune to create uh, installations on the hills of Pune uh, connected with the subject of saving the hills, uh, promoting the environment. We also have a very interesting lecture series where the likes of Sahid Mirza, who is one of the uh, very, very important film producers and experimental cinema producers. People, uh, he has done uh, Nukkar, he has done uh, cinemas like uh, Albert Pinto, Pinto Ko Gussa Kyo Aata Hai. He is going to speak basically about uh, what he calls the lumpenization of aesthetics in India. We have likes of Ashish Nandi, who is one of the major intellectuals of the world, considered among the hundred uh, intellectuals of the world today. We have David Headley, who is responsible for creating the largest sculpture fair in the world, in Australia, in Bondi, in Sydney. And he's going to tell about uh, his success story, his struggle and his success, how he managed to do that. And I think he will be a great inspiration for Puneites. Uh, throughout history, art has always required state patronage. The Indian Maharajas have supported art. We have examples of great temples, Ajinta Elora, Kajurao and many others which were supported by state. I think it is very important that the present governments also are enlightened enough to support art activities. There has been a lot of supports, but I must really congratulate the Pune Municipal Corporation, which is perhaps one of the first municipalities in the whole country to support an art activity like this, and they have supported Pune Biennale wholeheartedly. We have many private sponsors who have come forward. Uh, Amita Deshmukh of Matrix Global Private Limited, has been uh, really a backbone of Pune Biennale. And I really appeal as a curator and on behalf of my friends at Pune Biennale that more and more industrial houses should come forward and support Pune Biennale so that they lend their support to art, which is so very important for evolved living, for evolving our culture. <laughs>